Alright, so this is some more of the cutting. This shows the cutting that I did where all the pile came from for this new system that's coming. I don't know if it's going to be a hurricane or whatever, but I wanted to get all this cutting done. Before the hurricane came, it'll uh, make it a lot less work for me if we have like hurricane force winds. It'll uh, keep all that crap from happening so I don't have as much cleanup work to do afterwards and it'll also keep the trees and stuff from uh, damaging stuff so yeah I cut this tree back too so you can see all the fresh cuts just mainly the lower branches some higher ones but I wasn't gonna cut them down too uh, short because I like the shade in that and it'll help us out these are previous cuts but I did some cuts up here to get so, some of those branches back so that they're not hanging down really low and smacking into my shed and that, even though my shed is damaged. But yeah, it'll keep the shed from getting destroyed. Yeah, so I cut these back too, this back fence line, because we have problems with these trees in the storms, they dump a whole bunch of stuff. So that'll keep uh, falling debris and that from happening and debris from getting flung around. So I did these palm trees too. Just a few of them. That wasn't that many to cut off. But yeah, just a few on this one too. Cut this tree back. If you're wondering, this is a French vine tree. Or no, yeah, yeah, this is a French vine tree. And that one that I just previously showed you too, over here. This is also a French vine tree, but it's a different species of French vine tree. What happened was in the area I live in, they brought a lot of Chinese and French stuff to plant, to suck up water. Yeah, it's not a good idea to bring invasive species in here, but I'm not going to just cut them out. They've already been here, so yeah cut this palm tree back a little bit there are a few on that I cut this one this is the same one as the first French vine tree species that I showed you over there not the one in the center but the first one and this one is the same species so I cut the French vines back these are old cuts yeah but yeah new cuts some of the stuff I cut back so that <coughs> excuse me so I can uh, decrease the likelihood of getting storm damage when we get these high winds and that alright and then I cut this one back too this is the same one as those other two French vine this one didn't grow as big as the other ones for some odd reason but yeah <laughs> so I just cut back the lower ones. I didn't cut it all back, but I left this branch because this branch is good. I got some sticks hanging, but I missed. Didn't see this. Even though it's technically on the neighbor's property, but whatever. Yeah. All right. So then, uh, I also cut this back too. This one's closer to the house. So I cut these off because they needed to go and they're messing with my uh, palm tree. So, yeah. <coughs> this palm tree I cut back, cut the lower ones and stuff like that for the Hurricane Dorian prep. That was the only thing in my backyard I did for Hurricane Dorian cutting. But this other cutting that I was showing you, that was for this coming storm to make sure that I'm ready for it and decrease the likelihood of, in case it turns into a hurricane or a tropical storm and we have high winds, that uh, we don't have a whole bunch of debris damaging stuff. So that's why I did all that cutting for that. Alright, see you in a second.